Everything you need to know about the James Webb Telescope The massive James Webb Telescope, also called the JWST, for decades has been in development and was finally launched in December 2021. What is the vital information to know about the James Webb Telescope? Courtesy of NASA, the James Webb Telescope was tagged as the next in line after the Hubble Space Telescope. The world is currently on the edge of a new era of exploring space. This is made possible because NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has been in development decades ago. Filled with new cutting-edge technology, thereby being beneficial to the space exploration program. Welcome to TechSpot. But certain questions arise as a result of the development of the JWST. For example, why is the JWST considered important and why did its development take so long? To answer these questions and other related kinds, here is everything you need to know about the James Webb Space Telescope. The James Webb Space Telescope, which was tagged as next in line to the Hubble Space Telescope, was first known as the Next Generation Space Telescope in 1996. NASA set out to develop a telescope that has the capability of seeing both the first star and galaxies that were formed after the Big Bang. But NASA had help from the European and Canadian space agencies. The James Webb Space Telescope had its name changed in 2002 after the second administrator of NASA who was James E. Webb. The JWST is set to be the most powerful infrared telescope in the world. The development of the James Webb Space Telescope started in 2004 which began a near 20 years collaboration between three different space agencies, namely European, Canadian space agencies and NASA. A report from NASA stated it has had over 300 contributors from the JWST development from all over the world to aid bringing this huge idea into reality. Apart from being the most powerful infrared telescope in the world from NASA, it also happens to be the largest telescope to date because of its array of primary mirrors that span in length with 6.6 meters. The JWST mirrors on their own are a daunting feat. The telescope is an 18-piece hexagonal mirror and traveling through space intercepts light and then bounces it back to the JWST secondary mirror. Measuring 100 nanometers thick, which is about 1,000th the thickness of a sheet of paper, all of the primary mirrors are covered with gold. This set the JWST apart from the Hubble mirror, which is coated with aluminum. The gold coating of the James Webb Space Telescope allows for light at the low end of the spectrum that's electromagnetic, so the telescope instrument can capture it. You must be thinking, why is that paramount? The fact is, when light travels across the universe, an amount of energy is lost, and it then moves slowly to the low end of the electromagnetic spectrum, which is called redshift. The JWST can capture these beams of light that are faint. Then the telescope would practically look back in time to when the universe began. Though the JWST has a shield, the telescope still has to go as far as a million miles from planet Earth, so it can block the reflection of sunlight off the Earth, and also the Moon. Now to capture infrared light from across the universe, the James Webb Space Telescope will have to safeguard itself from the light reflection and heat got from the Sun, Moon and Earth hence the advantage of a shield. The JWST is fully equipped with a heat shield that has five layers which are as wide and large as the size of a tennis court. It contributes to the unique shape of the telescope. Each of the five layers acts as a cover for the telescope mirrors and the sensors, which help keep the telescope instrument incredibly cold at almost minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit. Even with how huge the sun shield of the telescope is, it will still have to travel a million miles away from Earth so the reflection of sunlight from the Moon and Earth can be blocked simultaneously. The Lagrange point, which is also called L2, is a perfect spot that is known as an orbit that keeps behind the spacecraft the Earth, Sun and Moon without abandoning their gravitational pulls. A telescope, Planck, has already been placed in L2 to obtain radiation from the CMB, Cosmic Microwave Background, and this telescope was placed by the European Space Agency. A glance at the JWST orbit around L2. The James Webb Space Telescope is embodied with so much innovative technology and it's still loaded with various technological advancements that the telescope it succeeded, the Hubble. The JWST's biggest obstacle for the mission is getting to its destination. 
Just as the most complicated origami in the world, the telescope will be folded into the fairing of the ESA's Ariane 5 rocket. Based on normal standards, the payload fairing of the Ariane 5 rocket is quite huge. Having a 16.19 meter long space and a 4.57 meter diameter, which is not big enough to fit the large James Webb telescope. Nevertheless, the Ariane 5 rocket has proven to be a launch vehicle that can be relied upon, with a record of 80 successful launches as of 2017. One adverse effect of the telescope being gigantic is the long periods it takes to unfold. According to NASA, the James Webb Space Telescope will take about two weeks to unfold its solar panels, mirrors, sunshield, and other telescope instruments once it's in space. With how delicate the telescope materials are, NASA has just one shot to get every detail right. As NASA astronauts had previously been able to make repairs on the Hubble repeatedly, but this can't be done on the James Webb Space Telescope because it's millions of miles away in distance from the Earth. The two weeks would be slow for the NASA engineers. The James Webb Space Telescope will at least spend five years up to ten years to study the universe formation of the early galaxies. The study will result in a comparison with today's galaxies and show how developed our solar system is and if there is life on other planets. Though the project had major drawbacks and went through redesigns in 2005 which cost about $10 billion, but in 2016 construction was completed and underwent extensive testing before it could be approved for launch. How does the James Webb Space Telescope work? The James Webb Telescope is referred to as an infrared telescope which means it makes use of infrared radiation to detect any object in space. It possesses the ability to identify celestial bodies, some of which are planets, nebulae and stars, which are too faint or cool to be identified in visible light. According to NASA, infrared radiation can also pass through dust and gas, which looks blurred to the human eye. This is very distinct from the Hubble telescope because it sees visible light, near-infrared radiation and ultraviolet radiation. What does the Webb Telescope plan to achieve? The James Webb Space Telescope has four objectives to achieve. Firstly, scientists want to study the first set of stars and galaxies that were formed after the Big Bang. Humans wouldn't have been able to see the stars or galaxies because when light travels across the universe, the light gets stretched and hence becomes infrared, which is not visible to the human eye. But with the use of an infrared telescope, light can be detected that has been traveling towards Earth for over 13 billion years, which enables the Webb Big Bang to glance back in time. The second objective of the Webb Telescope is to aid the comparison between the galaxies from earlier to the galaxies of today, to know the development that has occurred since time began. Thirdly, the James Webb Space Telescope will be able to study the system of stars and planets like the Earth's solar system and how it's formed. Because infrared radiation can go through astronomical dust and not be viewed by the visible light telescope like the Hubble telescope. The fourth goal the JWST is set to achieve is the study of planets. The Webb telescope will be able to study planets outside the solar systems to know if there are any life or signs of life outside our planets and also check if they are atmospheres that are capable of sustaining the lives of humans. What are the vitals to enable the success of this mission? In 2018, a report was conducted by an independent review board. It stated that there were 344 single point failures or steps that are needed to work perfectly for the success of the mission. The solar panels unfolded 30 minutes after the launch, so it could get power from the sun. The separation of the rocket and the beginning of the unfolding began after the launch. Then two hours later, the telescope can communicate back to Earth after the antenna deploys. Then the sun shield that's as big as a tennis court will deploy after three days. Overall, it will take the James Webb Space Telescope 29 days to reach its final destination and settle in an orbit that is almost 1 million miles from Earth.